Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badgerworks. Today, this. Uh, this is um, a dog collar medallion thing that I 3D printed for my daughter. Uh, she wanted us to get a dog. We're not getting a dog, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so uh, she basically dug out a big, massive, like, teddy bear dog thing, um, which she has now uh, christened Fungus. So, say hello to Fungus, everyone. Um, and this is uh, to go on his collar. So it's basically like one of these identity discs with a big F on it for Fungus. Um, I, I made a few of these. I 3D printed a few of them. And I've been painting them various different colours just for, you know, something to do. And for this one, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Uh, so I'm going to chip the paint on this one. But I'm going to try something I've not done before. And I'm going to try chipping multiple layers at the same time. Um, it's something I've seen other people do. Now, if you've watched my videos on paint chipping, what I normally do is spray a colour coat, seal it with varnish, then hairspray it, then put another colour coat on it, chip it, varnish it again. What I've seen other people do is, instead of varnishing in between each coat, they literally spray the hairspray or the chipping fluid, um, then a colour coat, then more chipping fluid, then another colour coat, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to try that on this and see how well it works. And I thought it might be of interest to you guys. So you can come along for the ride. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So uh, the main colours for this is going to be blue and brown. That's what colour she wants. Um, I've already given this a base coat of um, German Red Brown Primer. I find this is a great colour for like undercoating rust. So there's got that, and then it's got a coat of gloss varnish on it. Um, I'm going to use this as kind of like a primer coat, if you see what I mean. So it'll give it a primer colour underneath. And then we'll have a blue over the top of that. So what I need to do now is hit this with some hairspray, let it dry, then give it the primer coat, let that dry, then give it the blue and let that dry <laughs> with hairspray in between each layer. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. The hairspray is the one I always use. This is Asda's Ultimate Hold Hairspray. Um, it's the cheapest one I could find in Asda. Um, I, I've seen people say you need to use expensive hairsprays, we need to use this. Use this is the cheapest one I could find and it works fine. So, yeah, this is what we'll be using. Right, to chip the paint I've got two brushes, um, one's just a soft flat brush and the other one's uh, an old round brush that I've cut the bristles down to make them uh, a bit firmer, shall we say. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just soak this in water and then see if we can chip the paint through all the layers. What I might have to do is actually soak this for a while. Um, from what I've seen of other people doing this, you need to get the water to go right through all of the layers. So I might actually have to just soak this in water for a little while. 
and uh, and do it that way. As I've mentioned before when doing this, the main thing is patience, is just to take your time and be careful because once it starts to go, it will come off really quick and if you if you go mad with it, it will ruin it. So just really take your time with it. You see here where it started to go, it's coming off fast. So now it's just a question of getting the rest of it to start to come off as well. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up, but from sitting here, I can see the edges are starting to go. Um, yeah, it is working. So you've got to be a lot more careful with this because I want to, I want the like the the primer coat to show as well. So I don't want to blow straight through that and back to the the rust. So you've got to be very very delicate with it. Right, let's try this up and see what it looks like. Yeah, I quite like that. It doesn't look bad at all. I didn't want to go mad with it. It was more just an experiment to see if it worked, and it has. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit on the back as well, and then we'll put some pigment on it and see what that does. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. You can see it a lot easier on the back here. You can see where the blue is coming off, and it's revealing the, the primer coat. But again, it's so simple to blast right through it, right back to the, the bottom coat. So you've just got to be delicate, patient, careful. There you go, you see? Right, I'm going to seal this with some um, uh, matte varnish now and then we'll put some, pi some pigments and stuff on it. So here's the finished article. Uh, I think it's actually worked out quite well. I think I need a little bit more practice with it. But uh, on the whole, it's, it's come out very nicely. 
uh, it's certainly something we can look at using on future projects if, if the need arises. And on top of that, you've got a little impromptu uh, weathering session at the end as well, uh, using a bit of, a bit of streaking and, and so forth with pigments and, uh, and thinner. So I hope this has been of uh, use to you. It's certainly been fun for me. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.